guys, today I'm here with another hair tutorial. A few of you have requested this one. It is just like short hair and really voluminous curls. So first up, I'm going to use some heat protection on my hair. This is the Schwarzkopf Heidi's Heat Styles. I always use the heat protectant and then I just brush it through. I'm going to take my Irresistible Me Sapphire one. Now this is the second largest barrel on it and I'm going to turn it on. I just have it at the heat, whatever it is. So when the light turns green, that means it's reached its temperature that you can aim it to be at. Uh, this is 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know you can change it to Celsius, but I kind of forget how to. <laughs> Parted my hair down the back, so it's in two sides. Um, I usually do wear extensions, if you were wondering, that's why my hair looks so short. I'm going to use my Irresistible Me Glove. I love this, it's amazing. And essentially what I'm gonna do is, I work from the back sections, and I just take a huge chunk of hair, and I wrap it around the wand. Now the sections, they're not like too big or too small. They're just kind of like whatever. Usually when I do it, I'm in that much of a rush to do it. So I kind of take bigger sections, but I did film this one beforehand. And because like I had all the time in the world to film it, I took smaller sections. So it ended up like a little bit differently. So I'm just gonna take bigger sections like I'm trying to rush it or whatever. And I don't wrap the hair like uh, flat against the wand. I just leave it all bundled up as you can see there. I hold it there for, I usually count to like 15 to 20. Like just, um, I'll show you. So I'll wrap it around and just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I will let it go. But I'll count obviously in my head. Not out loud like that. And I just keep going till I get all the way around my head. So really this takes like five to seven minutes to even do. So it's really not that long of a hairstyle to do. Around the front sections, I kind of take the sections a little bit smaller just because there is less hair around my face. And obviously the sections with the smaller hair, I don't leave it on the curler as long as I do with the back sections. Sometimes the back sections I'll count to 30, um, but with these front sections I won't leave it on them for very long. And you'll notice that I don't squish them up together, I just, um, how do you call that, like spiral, like, you know, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not very good at explaining this. So there's one side done. I do go back over when I'm finished um, and curl some top bits that I feel need a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side now. I kind of just like to make sure that there's no bumps in there though. See, there's just like a little bump knot in there. I guess what I'm saying is don't put them flat against the curler, like flat as in like, like they're on an angle, the hair is on an angle. So it creates more of a spiral than a curl or ringlet. Okay, so I've curled all of my hair. Oh, that one looks a little bit dodgy. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is just brush it out. I need to curl a few more of these ones up here because I mustn't have left them on for as long as they needed to be on. So now that I have curled um, that side again, I'm gonna just brush it out. And essentially what you see is just like loose waves kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is hairspray them. And just like mess them up a bit. Then I am going to tease the crown. You'll notice that I have no volume in my hair whatsoever. Um, so I like to just brush it back, you guys will probably have seen me do this in a lot of videos. Comb it up, hairspray it, and then tease it. I start with the back sections and do like two to three layers. And then I do some layers on the side.
and then I just comb it all down so it doesn't look so cray. And then just kind of mess it up with my fingers. Get in there and give it some extra volume. And essentially that is it. The curls do tend to drop during the day a bit. If you need, if you find other bits that need to be curled, just curl them again. Yeah, so that is it for my hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I will see you in a few days. Bye.